RTMP protocol is widely used in live streaming for media contribution and further transmission. Nimble Streamer supports all modes of RTMP for receiving and sending live streams. In this video we will demonstrate the setup and usage of four major modes that our customers use with the Nimble Streamer RTMP feature set. You will find links to all related articles and pages in the description of this video. We use an existing WMS panel account. There we have two servers installed on AWS and DigitalOcean. First, we define a network interface which Nimble Streamer will use for receiving RTMP published streams. Let's define our interface as port 1935 on all IP addresses. We apply the setting to both servers at the same time. Our cloud panel allows doing that. Once the settings are applied, let's define an application for input and output streams. In RTMP, an application is a way of defining a set of streams. In a typical RTMP URL, the application name is set right after the server address and port. If a port is not specified, then 1935 is assumed. It's a default port for RTMP. Other elements of RTMP URL include the RTMP prefix and the stream name. Stream name is also referred to as a stream key. Tools like OBS use that notation. In NimbleStreamer, an application is used for defining parameters for a set of streams. Those parameters include user and password for authentication, the output streams protocols, and a bunch of other things. We create a new application called Live, for which we define HLS, RTMP, and SLDP output protocols, as well as user and password for RTMP stream publication. Once the setting is applied to the server, you can get URL patterns for stream publication. Let's use it. We'll use OBS to demonstrate the RTMP publication with a live input showing a ticking clock. We use default encoder settings. In stream settings, use the URL that we've just seen in the panel. For stream key, we'll use OBS. Since we want to use the user and password for authentication, we click the respective checkbox and enter our credentials. By clicking on Start Streaming, we initiate that process. Let's check what we get into a Nimble Streamer instance. On the Live Streams page, we can see a new stream in the Incoming Connection section. It has a designated app and stream name. Let's go to Outgoing Streams section. You can see a stream with the same app and stream name with proper video and audio codecs, bitrate and resolution. Let's play an HLS stream generated from the stream. And now we'll launch FFplay utility to play the RTMP output. So we set up and checked two modes of RTMP stream. Those were receiving a published RTMP stream and providing RTMP for playback. Now let's set up our second Nimble instance to pull an RTMP stream from the first Nimble instance for further processing. We go to live stream settings, 
for that server and use live pool settings tab. We click the new RTMP URL button and then enter our RTMP stream URL there. We have previously used it for playback check. Nimble also supports fallback streams, but we don't use them in this scenario. Now we specify the application and stream name of the output stream that will be a result of this incoming stream. They will be used for further processing. The settings are synced up to our Nimble instance. Let's take a look at live streams for our second server. You can see an incoming stream available under the app and stream names which we entered previously. It's also available for output. So now we check the playback. Now let's try republishing the same RTMP stream from the first server to the second one instead of pulling it. We go to the live stream settings of the first server and choose republishing tab. There are some differences across various streaming services to receive RTMP. For Nimble we use standard republishing. We specify source application stream name. By the way, you can leave stream name blank to, to set Nimble to republish any stream from the specified application. In the destination address, we specify the name of the second server. You may use IP if you want as well. We use default port 1935 because we know we specified it in the server's interfaces in the beginning of this video. For destination application and stream, we use the name that we can distinguish later. Once the setting is synced up with the server, we go to live streams of the second server and see our republished stream appear there. The outgoing stream is also in place and can be played. If you'd like to know more about RTMP support in Nimble Streamer, please check the description of this video.